this is Rob Bagby reporting to you for Bites by MSDN. I have the privilege to sit here and talk with John Shuchuk. John, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. I appreciate your time. John, you're a, a technical fellow for Microsoft. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about what, what that means or what, what your role is within the organization? Well, we've got a collection of technical fellows at Microsoft, and our job as technical fellows is to look across the company, make sure that all the pieces are working together, and also to look ahead and think about where the company needs to be in the future and, and kind of drive the projects toward, toward those long-term objectives. So speaking of kind of taking a project from you know, nowhere to, to where we need to be, you were, you were a, a key member early on with the, with the Azure initiative. That's right. I was uh, driving uh, part of the problem where we were looking at what it would take to connect together applications uh, securely and across firewalls, um, thinking about some of the application model uh, technologies. At the same time, and, and we didn't even know it back then, Ray Ozzi had started up a project around the compute and, uh, and uh, blob storage technologies. And Dave Campbell had been working on the uh, SQL uh, technologies and what the implications of the cloud would be. And as we uh, got toward last year's PDC, we started bringing all these things together into a comprehensive platform, and I think we've done a really great job pulling together a comprehensive uh, collection of technologies for people um, with, uh, with the announcements today. Yeah, and in, in a short period of time, and speaking of Dave Campbell, we saw him in the keynote today talking about Dallas. Yes. That's, that's exciting. Can you talk to me a little bit about Dallas? Yeah, Dallas is this great um, little project that, that we started up recently, and um, the idea was let's make it really easy for people to get access to data. And um, the, the project really took on a life of its own. It really caught on. And um, one of the keys to unlocking this is some of the technologies like the, um, the OData piece and the OAuth wrap technologies that we have in there. OData is this, is this great way that we have to uh, augment the flow of information that's coming out of feeds like Atom. And let it be consumed in applications like Excel, so you can do the pivot tables. Um, SharePoint supports it. Um, we've also got the ability in Dallas to easily import this into uh, Visual Studio, so you can directly program against it. Um, and of course, you need to make sure all this stuff is safe and secure, and we've had this cool project with, uh, with Google and Yahoo uh, to produce this uh, new enhancement to OAuth, uh, specifically designed to support these REST uh, these REST endpoints. So it's been it's been super fun. It's kind of interesting. I mean, both of those uh, both of those two advancements you talked about. It's not it's not enough just to have the data available. You have to be able to allow somebody to get at it and get at it securely. Yes. And so I mean, that's the key to making it usable and consumable. It really is interesting that so many of the things that we try and build as developers have this notion of being able to connect across these fabrics of technology. Um, and with technologies like the service bus, with um, the data synchronization, the OAuth wrap technologies, OData, they're all, they all play a key role in that stitching together mm -hmm. of these new applications. It's it, been fun stuff to work on. Yeah, I know it. I mean, I, I, we were talking about it as I sat through the keynote listening to Dave talk about Dallas, I was just thinking, wow, you know, Azure, it, it made the little guy able to easily compete with the big guy. And now with the access to this massive amounts of data and easy, secure access to that data, it's, it's game changing. You're absolutely right. When we look at um, the kinds of applications that one or two people are able to produce in, in a very short period of time because they can pull together all of these pieces and because they can run it on this new cloud application model and because it comes with the resiliency and the always available uh, characteristics that Bob Moo talked about in the keynote today, um, it, it really has made it possible for small teams to produce applications that are as good, if not better, than what has historically taken big, big, big collections of people to produce. I, I think that's the amazing thing. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for your time today. We really do appreciate it, and thank you all for watching.